Thomas Carlyle once said, humans without goals are much like a ship without a water. Better believe me, I know what he was talking about. Goals give direction and purpose to our lives. However, fear of failure and regret oftentimes prevent us from setting big goals. The same is true when it comes to moving to another country. Despite the many good reasons for doing so, such as the lower costs of living, experiencing a new culture and have adventures, <laughs> negative stereotypes about the people and the country can make it look like a really bad idea. But since I believe there's already enough negativity on the internet for the next 2 billion years to come, I want to show you the opposite. I don't think it's hard to find happiness here if you can appreciate all the small differences compared to western countries. Speaking of enjoying the small things, let me just show you what I mean. Today is Nas' birthday. This means we will be out and about to make merit. We will be using live fish for this, which we need to buy here. Fortunately, we have quickly found some. Usually, you have to show up at the market pretty early to find fish that's still alive. By buying animals from a market and set them free at a temple, you basically rescue those animals' lives, which is considered to be a good enough thing to make merit to help with your karma. And that's the whole idea behind that. So we arrived at the lake already. That's a nice place to do our moat, I guess. That was a big snail. That's what I in general like about the temple areas. They are oftentimes uh, connected to some kind of um, river or lake. Usually they have a lot of green areas and they are very well maintained and clean. And you have many animals around too because um, they will feed soy dogs and cats. Take a break already? Come here. It's a slider. It flocks. <laughs> they look really big. It cat, catch, uh, catch fish. Oh, it flocks. Okay, let's go to the next one. <laughs> you think they feel happy? Yeah, I think. I think so too. Mm -hmm. Now they have, look, super nice place here. Yeah. At least they can sleep in somewhere here. I feel like uh, the feeling like when I stay at my parents' area. Mm -hmm. uh, with big tree, something like this. I don't know which one. What, what tree, but look nice. So next, next one, uh, go to Lotus Lake. Okay. Eight frog, eight slider, eight catfish. When people was born on Monday till Sunday, it different quantity. Thai people believe about that. So for my birthday, Tuesday, number eight, do give free or do something is about number eight. So eight fat frogs. <laughs> yeah, there's two lucky ones. Ah, ban mai na luk na. Khoi yu lot pot pai kan tuk tua na ban mai na. Ừ, pai luk pai. Ừ, pai 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 pai. I think they take time a bit after move to many plate. This is how it looks to give back a free life to a bunch of frogs who don't understand what's going on. What should we do <laughs> where, where we are? <laughs> ah, you bring already the sliders. Mm. Okay. บ้านใหม่นะลูกนะบ้านใหม่นะอยู่รอดปลอดภัยกันทุกตัวนะนะมีที่อยู่ที่กินกันขอโชคดีทุกตัวนะลูกนะขยับได้แล้วตื่น
Thank you so much, na. <laughs> <laughs> For rescue us for your birthday. We wish you good luck for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's such a nice thing to do. Mm. Oh, here. That's Lotus, right? The yeah. pink one. Uh. Oh, yeah, they have many. I'm, yeah. I'm blind. They have, <laughs> they have like. <laughs> 10,000 of those here, and I'm like, oh, look, there is one. <laughs> Some more one. <laughs> yeah, many, everywhere. Have a good life and safety for forever. Everyone, nice house, nice plate, nice life, and a lot of food. You have everything? I have khaki, uh, you have just, bag. Just, just that, just this. I've never seen monkeys in our area here, where we live. Now we're about uh, 10 kilometers away from home and at this area where we just did Merit Big Temple area they have these signs Don't feed the monkeys, 10,000 baht, fine that's, uh, that's a lot for Thailand You know when you smoke and non-smoking areas, they might fine you with uh, 2,000 baht. So not feeding the monkeys seems to be uh, a serious thing here. Hey, are you thirsty too? Look, they climb on three together. <laughs> <laughs> not ready yet. Yeah, that's a problem in a monkey life when you have ant on your food. <laughs> Nobody likes ants. Oh, it hurt. <laughs> Don't bring it to me, mate. He look at, looks at us from high up. <laughs> look like father. Or grandfather. Hello. <laughs> What do you think? Oh, I didn't know. Cool. Do, do you think we can do? Of course. Okay. 22 next step. 20 stairs. I just hope they say beer on top. <laughs> can you wait here? Okay, I'm not sure if that was a good idea. <laughs> Okay, come, next. How do you feel? Good. Do you like your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> this is my birthday present. This is your birthday present. See, they're already sitting. <laughs> <laughs> but look, uh, Ataya. And our home, I can see our home. Which yeah. one? <laughs> no. But we still have to go to the... Ah, okay, that's the real top. Housing of the Buddha's footprint. This structure was constructed in honor of His Majesty the King and Her Majesty the Queen. Whew. It's very beautiful. I want to have the same in my garden. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't need to annoy anyone. You don't annoy anybody. One. This is a sacred building. Ladies in miniskirts are not allowed. <laughs> Hello. 
Ohne. Up. Did you say my my? I mean to temple, not to me. <laughs> That's it. Bye bye Pattaya. And bye bye monkey jungle. <laughs> Nas birthday was one of the nicest days I have had so far this year, despite planning anything big or special. I love discovering unexpected things in Thailand that bring me joy, like finding that group of monkeys or stumbling upon the temple with that stunning view. It's a perfect place for Western normie like myself. Seeing new animals or colorful plants makes me feel like a kid again. Those small things make all the difference for me. And of course, my wife is a big part of my happiness here. I'm grateful to have found her and experiencing everything with her. So I guess what I really want to say is don't let others' opinions hinder your plans and big decisions. Remember, it's always possible to go back and trying and failing is always better than never trying. And if your plans work out, who knows? It might be the best decision you have ever made. I found an awesome partner and I find joy in my daily life. I'm happy and I have never felt regret for moving here. I believe everybody can do the same. Don't look for problems, don't care too much about others' opinions and do what feels right for you. I hope this gives you a bit of courage to pursue your dreams as well and inspires you to take a chance. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>